When airlines introduced frequent flyer programs more than 30 years ago, it was called one of the most ingenious marketing schemes ever. Credit card companies soon got in the game, co-branding with the programs with the carriers. But times have changed. Now it is harder to earn miles and to use them. In fact, there are now 17 and a half trillion unredeemed frequent flyer miles in circulation. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg is here to explain why it's about to get even worse. I didn't know it could get worse. You know, that's 17.5 <laughs> trillion miles. That means there are more unredeemed miles in circulation out there in the world than there's currency in circulation in, around the world. But you yeah. kind of saw this coming. Well, it had to happen because everybody wants to get miles. You can get miles for everything short of breathing, right? The credit card companies then get in there. 54% of all mileage earned right now is earned on the ground with credit card purchases. People aren't even flying. So you have all these miles out there and nowhere to go. Now, Delta is one of the first that's going to reconfigure its program starting January 1st. They're going to now link miles earned to the price of the ticket instead of distance. What's the significance right. of this? Up until now, if you flew 1,000 miles on any airline, uh, no matter what fare you paid, you got 1,000 miles. Right. Starting next month, if you fly 1,000 miles on Delta and you're not a heavy frequent flyer paying a full fare ticket, you get a completely reduced number of miles. So, for example, on a round trip ticket between New York and Los Angeles, up until now, you got 4,900 miles because that's how many miles were actually on the flight. Right. If you're just a regular passenger who is not paying a, a full fare ticket and you're on a discount, that mileage drops way down, maybe 2,000 miles. So it's, it's, it's not only harder to redeem them, it's now harder to earn them. Get them, them yeah. yeah. Is this going to be a trickle down? Because it looks like United is adopting a very similar program. Yeah, United's kicks in, in in March. Once again, a fare based program. And it's done on a tier based on your mileage status at the airline. But even if you're at the highest tier, if you pay a discounted fare, you get less mileage. Mm -hmm. It's about generating a tremendous amount of revenue for the airlines. People don't, don't realize the airlines make more money from operating their frequent flyer programs. And in many cases, they operate at, to get, as operating as airlines. Mm -hmm. Really? See, yeah, because they print the currency, the mileage, which they then right. sell to the credit card companies at about 1.4 cents a mile, right. knowing full well that their redemption levels are going to be under 8%. Mafia loan sharks don't get this kind of return. Right. <laughs> they don't. It's, it's, it's impossible. So we, and, yeah. we haven't heard anything from American yet since they merged with USA. Are they, they going to do this too? Every indication is that they will because they don't want to leave that kind of revenue on the table. The only reason why they haven't done it yet is they haven't integrated their systems yet between U.S. Air and American. They expect to do that by April or May. And once that happens, you can count on it. Do you think it's still a good idea to use those specialty cards to redeem miles, though? Uh, look, if, you want, if you're going to use them for something you're already going to do anyway, sure. But if you're doing them just to get more miles that you can't redeem, you're crazy. Because if you add the interest rate in, unless you pay off your balance every month, by the time you get that so-called free ticket, it's cost you a lot of money. Peter, bottom line, even if travelers do earn the points, are they going to be able to redeem them? If you follow my advice, and here's what you do, think about 330 days out, and then don't pick a place you've always wanted to go, because everybody wants to go, go there. there yeah. So yeah. throw out Paris, throw out Honolulu, pick Des Moines. I don't care, but at least you'll go. And you know... <laughs> What an enticing trip. I know. <laughs> hey, I'll see you on the plane. <laughs> Grinch of frequent flyer miles. I'm Peter sorry to be Greenberg. the best messenger, but there it is. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.